Jake George here, and I'm going to be doing a What's in My Dock video today, showing you what applications I recommend and use daily on my Mac. And uh, I know these videos are quite popular to uh, really just get an idea of what apps you want to download, what apps are worth downloading. So I'm going to go through what I'm using at the moment, and um, just recently started downloading the apps to use. I only recently got my Mac, so these are really this is going to be my first What's in My Dock video. And then um, hopefully I'll learn a few more and then uh, do some more videos in the time to come. So first of all is Finder, which is automatically in the dock. You can't get rid of it. It's always there to uh, help you find your documents. You can use the feature, the search feature, to find documents. Very easy. Next one is Mail, which I use as a mail client. All my mail gets sent to there, all my junk mail. And then I read it from there, it gives me uh, nice notifications if I have any new mail coming in. Here's my only browser at the moment, Safari, which I uh, really do like. I was going to download Firefox, but I am fine with this at the moment. I like it, it's quite simple, fast, which is all I really need. Address book, which I don't really use. I only started using it when I got another application, which I'll show you in a minute, and I will talk about iCal, really don't use that either, quite handy if I need to remember something such as a deadline for a piece of homework, but don't really remember that much. iTunes, which obviously I use quite a lot, stores all my songs, which I had to delete most of my songs when I switched over to Mac, because they wouldn't read a lot of them, wouldn't read the files, so I've had to kind of start again. Obviously here I've got my uh, few albums, got Recovery from Eminem, and some other songs, really not much, but this is where I keep my movies, got Zombieland on here, podcasts, not much of them, iTunes Store, and PIN, which just opened recently. You can add me on PIN if you like, it's G-E-O-R-G-E -E George N11 at hotmail.co.uk. You can follow me, see what songs I'm buying, downloading, rating, etc. Second of all is Photo Booth, which really just utilises the webcam, so I can uh, take some pictures. Now here's the newest edition, which came out yesterday, FaceTime for the Mac. This is great, you can talk to any iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 4th generation, and also the iPad soon to come, I think there will be a uh, FaceTime release for that, with a front facing camera. But now it's on the Mac, it means a lot more users can use it, and that's really good. iPhoto, which obviously documents all my photos here. I've got some art photos here I'm using for my studies. And really just got some photos here of my holiday. And yeah, it displays them very nice. I can edit them if I'm not using another application, which I'll show you in a minute. Here we have iWebs, which is how I make my website, how I upload my website, and really straightforward, I really like it, it's easy to use, it takes me really no time at all to update it, add HTML code, works great for me, and also the new version of iPhoto and iWeb and a few other applications like iMovie, they came out yesterday in the new iLife package, which I'll be upgrading soon. Here's iMovie where I do all my editing, very easy to use, stitch it all together, I can lay it out, I can uh, really uh, make my videos look better. Here you have the system preferences, just really normal, dark, expose, language, security, spotlight, all that good stuff. Alright, now for the uh, Photoshop, for the uh, really good applications. Maybe Photoshop, because everyone knows what this looks like. Very simple to use. This is our latest Photoshop, this is CS5. Quick Photoshop. I've got Illustrator, Flash, Flash Catalyst, Flash Builder, Flash Fireworks, Extension Manager, Dreamweaver, Contribute, and Bridge, and a few others which are still on CDs. I need to write them up. Currently just using them off my CD, like Final Effect and uh, a few other ones like that. Sorry, not Final Effect, After Effects. Sorry. QuickTime Player, which I'm currently using to uh, 
do this computer screen at the moment. Very nice indeed. It's very easy to make a screencast. The sound quality is quite good, which I uh, figured out in my last video. Really not a bad application. Here I've got Adium, which displays all my contacts for MSN. A few other clients as well. But for now, I just use that for MSN. Here you have another one, AMSN, which really isn't that good. I was uh, trying a lot of them applications out to find one which, which had webcam. for I could uh, talk to my Windows users, but I can't. Automator, Bodega, which if you haven't seen, is a great application. Made a review of this some time. And this basically is a store for all your applications for Apple. Down the side you can see various different categories, audio, business, design and graphics and that's a uh, really great application where you can find all the applications which you might want. Here you have caffeine which stops your monitor from turning off and dimming, it will keep it on constant. Calculator, camouflage which is uh, really quite useful although I can't really show you how it works at the moment because it's for people that have a lot of documents down the side, I tend to keep mine pretty clean if you have a lot of doc documents down the side, you can put camouflage on and it will get rid of those. It will keep them there, but it will put your background over it so you can't see it, so it's nice and clean. Here you have chess. The application I'm going to show you is dashboard, which is also a shortcut for on the keyboard. It just pops up like that. This is basically uh, just another window to show some of your information, which you may want to see. As you see here, I've got a few weather displays, London, Orlando, Florida. Couple of, uh, I've got an American clock here and a London clock and just a uh, basic calendar here and also the calculator which I uh, further look of this calculator compared to the other one this one's quite nice and very simple don't often use this just to check the time see if there's an event in, a, uh, in America I want to see what time it's on in the UK I'll have a look at this see what the weather's like and that's about it don't really use it that often Next on we have dictionary, don't use that that much. DVD player, FaceTime, obviously you've gone through that. Front book, front row, which I can uh, watch all my videos using that. Garage band, don't often use that, I uh, may start using that. Geek bench, so I can uh, look at my geek bench scores, see how my computer's running, how fast it's going. iCal, which I've already been through. iChat. Don't really use that much, seeing that I don't really have that much contacts on it. If you want to uh, add me on any of these, you can uh, send a message below and I'll uh, DM you. iDVD, image capture, we have iMovie gone through that, iPhoto gone through that, iTunes, iWeb, Mail, Newsfire, which is a great application. You can, uh, you can load up all your favourite web pages and uh, Put them into this application, RSS client, and it will give you all the latest news, send it to you, so you don't have to go to each website to look for the news. So uh, I have a few companies on there at the moment. Let me load that back up and I'll uh, explain it a bit more. I have uh, a few Mac websites, really. CNET, Lifehacker, Apple, Official Apple, Chris Perillo, um, the Creative Ones, Tech Social site, and... That's about it. BBC News, obviously. Looking down, we have Open Office, which is um, I'm using it as a Word document at the moment. Open OpenOffice.org. It's free until I get Pages, which I might get. I'm using this. I like it. It's pretty simple. It's just like Word, and it's free, which is uh, great. Then we have. Been through these preview, which just basically shows you images that you download off the internet. QuickTime Player, Safari, Spotify, which as you know is a free music client. You get 20 hours a month for free stream music. You can't get no downloads. You can if you pay an extra subscription fee, which is good. Stickies, where I uh, remind myself of things like homework. Text edit, very basic text editor on the Mac. Really, uh, nothing special tend to use that if I want to jot down some notes and Tweety where uh, streams all my live tweets run it, usually run it at a corner here then I can have uh, two web pages open here really uh, makes you get a lot of work done so I can have a few multiple web pages at once great thing about having this uh, 
big screen, it's a 27 inch screen. So, uh, Tweet is a great size for me. I can uh, just have it down the side there, have it running, automatically updates with all the tweets on a big reel. Down the side, I can look at my uh, messages Jason Bradbury there, we got uh, Tech Socials, David DeFranco, and just messages, personal messages. Robert Bolin. And that's about it. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope there's some applications that I've uh, kind of wanted you to get. I know there's uh, loads of applications out there, but seeing what people are using, seeing how they look, might really want you to uh, get some of these. I definitely recommend some of these applications are great. If you don't have them, Bodega, for example, Camouflage, some really good applications. And uh, most of these are free. Actually, I think all of these are free, except from obviously Photoshop, which um, costs quite a bit. So, yeah, that's it. All I've downloaded is the free applications at the moment, but I'm pretty happy with all of those. And um, obviously, with the new iLife coming out, I'm going to uh, get the upgrade of that in the next few months. A few nice features there, if any of you watched the Apple show last night, streamed live on the apple.com website. So yeah, thanks for watching, please subscribe, please comment, you can send me some messages and that would be great, I'd like to answer all your questions. If you want any more information about any of the videos I do and any of the applications, feel free to send me a message. This is my website for any of you that want to have a look, just got my blog which I update daily, some information, a few videos, my Twitter stream is right on here so you can watch that. You can uh, subscribe to my blog. It will get straight sent to your RSS clients, such as Fire Reader, Newsfire, sorry. And um, yeah, you can get all my blogs sent there. And I've got some photos here, which I'll be doing. I like uh, doing some photos. I'll be uploading in there. I've only got one at the moment, which I believe is my banner. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Really helps me out. And bye.